I want to show you a simple purchasing process with MRP in Dynamics 365 Business Central. This could be used in a manufacturing environment or even a distribution environment. What I want to do is look at the MRP requisition process, look at the purchase order creation and approval. We'll receive that PO. There'll be a minimal quality control check, and then we'll enter some vendor invoices and returns. So I'll start with a planning worksheet. I'm logged in as Alicia. She's in the operations area. She's going to run the MRP process. So here we've got a blank planning worksheet, and we're going to calculate MRP. I'll indicate some starting and ending parameters. Hit OK. The MRP process will look at the inventory, look at the requirements, and give me results. Here are the results here. I've got a number of items, but I'm really interested in this first line here. This is a new product. We're bringing it into our business, and I want to order it to meet the new safety level. So I'm going to mark this action message here. So next, let's carry out the action messages. This has created some purchase orders now. Let's take a look at the purchase order. Here's a new purchase order right here. It's just created from the MRP process. We can look at the lines here. I've got 100 of these items coming in. I'll select the inventory location. And let's look up the cost here. Here's the item here. This is the current unit cost. Also, this is a lot controlled item. If we look at item tracking, you can see that it's a lot controlled item. I'm going to enter the unit price. And there we have our purchase order. Now this purchase order needs to be approved. So Alicia's going to request an approval on this. It's above her level. The approval has been sent. This is the admin person. If we scroll down here, we can see that there's a request to approve. Let's open that up. Here's a purchase order that we just created. We can open that record, take a look at the purchase order. If we want to approve it, we can approve it right from here. Now the purchase order has been released. So the next thing to do is receive this purchase order in. I'm logged in here as David. He's in the warehouse and let's receive that purchase order. So let's take a look at the purchase orders. Here's the one we want to receive here. This is a lot tracked item, so we have to specify the lots. We've got three lots here. We can key in the lot or scan it in from a barcode reader. So I'll put those lot numbers in. So I have these items assigned to lot numbers. There's three lots. You can see the lot numbers here. Let's close this. And let's go ahead and receive this in. I'm back as the admin person, and I just received the vendor's invoice for this purchase order. So let's go ahead and enter that invoice. Here's the PO here. This is the vendor's invoice number. If we scroll over to the right, we can see that we've received 100. We have not yet invoiced any, but we're gonna go ahead and invoice the entire 100. So I've got the invoice number. All I need to do then is go and post this. And I'm done with that task. Back at the warehouse, David is working on doing a quick quality control on these three lots that just came in. I got my lot information list here. You can see the lots I've already received and tested. Let's look at the ones that are not tested. I can open these up. I can do the test. I can write a description of what's going on in this lot. I can put a certification number here if I wanted to but it's good, I'll go to the next. I test this batch and I find that it's bad. I wanna block this batch from being used, so I'll put that block on and I'll test the final batch. This one's good as well. So I've done the testing, I noted the results in each batch card. I can see my bad batches here. And what I wanna do is I wanna return this back to the vendor, log back in as an admin person, and I'm gonna create a vendor return for that bad batch. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll look up the vendor, Central Coast Supply, put in the RMA number, and I'm gonna enter the item to be returned. Here's the item right here. 
I want to return 30 of them. Because it's a lot controlled item, I need to look at the lot. Look at the item tracking lines here. We're going to select this lot here. And what I need to do is I can look at the lot information card. I need to temporarily unblock that so I can ship this. I'll do that. Close that. And then I'm going to ship this. Post it. Ship it. Shipment's done. I can take one last review of this credit. And I can apply it to the invoice. Apply it to this original invoice that it came in on. Hit OK. And then I'm going to post the credit. And that's the process. I started with an MRP requisition in the planning worksheet, created a purchase order. I sent that through approval. We received the purchase order, did a quick quality control inspection, entered the vendor invoice, determined that one of the lots was bad. So we're going to return that to the vendor. We created a vendor return. We shipped it back to the vendor. And then we applied that return to the original invoice and posted that.